Okay, this is a very quick and very dirty um, tutorial on how to create a um, standard definition um, render for input to DVD Architect. Uh, first thing we want to do is open uh, Vegas Pro 9 uh, and we want to set our project properties. We do that by going to File and um, go to Properties and uh, since our input uh, clip is going to be an AVC HD clip what we want to do is to click this little folder uh, icon here and uh, find our AVC HD clip. In this case we're going to use this 0024.mts uh, clip. Click on that click open and all of our um, uh, project properties are set. Uh, the one thing that we might want to uh, make sure of is this deinterlace method is uh, blend fields. Uh, if you search this forum you can read a lot about why you want to do that. Click apply, click OK, and the next thing we want to do then is to drag that uh, AVC HD clip to the timeline. Um, we do this by going to Explore, or we can open it in Windows, uh, and take the um, AVC HD clip and indeed uh, drag it to the timeline. Um, in order to produce a good quality um, uh, render uh, for DVD Architect, there's two things that I like to do. One is to uh, left uh, right-click on the uh, clip and uh, go to Properties and uh, set uh, reduce interlace uh, flicker and the other thing uh, is to click on the event effects and uh, click on Sony sharpen uh, add that to the effects chain click OK leave the uh, amount setting at zero here then uh, we need to go through two renders uh, for this we need to render the audio and then we need to render the video uh, so uh, the first thing we want to do is to render the audio and uh, we do this by um, uh, going to type here choosing the uh, Dolby Digital AC3 um, and uh, we're going to name this uh, deer.ac3 um, click save, indeed we want to overwrite it, uh, and now we have rendered the audio. Next thing we want to do is um, render the video. In order to render the video what we need to do is find the main concept MPEG2 um, encoder. And then uh, out of all the selections that we have here we want to choose uh, DVD NTSC widescreen uh, wide screen video stream uh, and uh, name this deer again um, click save and I do want to overwrite the one that I did in my test and uh, this will take a minute or two for this test uh, to complete Okay, the render is uh, complete now, and um, the final step in this process then is to take those two rendered files, the video uh, only file and the sound only file, and import those into DVD Architect and create a uh, uh, standard definition DVD from that. Uh, and that is the subject of another tutorial. There are many, many of those uh, on YouTube if you just do a search.